Do you remember some of those favourite places you visited when you were young? Are they still the same? Mine have all changed. When you fly up into places like this glacier and you see how much it's retreating back, it's all happening right in front of you and it's a lot more alarming than seeing it on the TV. It's really slapped in your face. I've always had a passion for the outdoors. Just so many beautiful places in New Zealand that you can explore. We've got huge alpine mountains and big glacier terrain. You feel so small and it's so big and diverse. Just seeing all the amazing wildlife along the west coast, you can look down and see the, the seals and dolphins and all sorts of wildlife. And then you could go through the beech forest south of here, of sort of wet moss land, of little robins singing to you as you wander through the stunning forest. I just love being in those environments with my camera. My passion for photography has stemmed from that and ever since then I just want to keep showing the world and the people that don't get the opportunity to go to these beautiful places what it's actually like and what we're actually affecting because it's those places that are very fragile and it would be really sad to lose all that. The Nameless is a collaborative project between myself and Tom Lynch. He has these big light projectors, I have the camera equipment. We pretty much just wanted to combine those, those two elements and see what we could create. We're not just doing it to produce photos to show other people, it was, it was something that we really wanted to see for ourselves and yeah, that's a big, big part of it is, is just creating it in reality and not faking it. We hit the road this morning uh, from Queenstown. We plan to fly into the glacier tomorrow morning. Definitely a little bit nervous, but I'm kind of excited and hopeful more than anything at the moment. It's not the place you usually take uh, light projectors, so that's going to be uh, it's going to be a very, very, very interesting to see how how they operate up there and if we can if we can make this, this crazy idea happen. So we just turned up to Tasman Glacier Lake. We're just testing out the gear really before we fly in tomorrow. We didn't expect to see much, but when we turned up, there was um, some pretty reasonable sized bits of ice floating. We only really have this window that's it's just after sunset when you can match the projected light with the natural light. You have these big trips and all this planning and you, and you have a good goal in mind, but it's such a small window, if you don't nail it, you just go home with nothing. Oh, nice. We set out this morning, we went into the dock office and um, gave them our intentions to start here for the night. It's a big storm coming in later in the week, so I just want to be careful. We've got a lot of stuff. I think we're a couple hundred kilos over. <laughs> The pilot, he was just telling me about how much the glacier retreated since he's been working up here and it's pretty crazy, like he, he pointed it out as something that he, he recognised straight away and it's, you know, this is slowly disappearing. I'm hoping this project just encourages people to get out to these beautiful places and hopefully people just start the conversation about what we're doing to the environment and, and how we can help sustain it. scale blows you away, like straight away you, you realise how small you are in this, this crazy environment out here. I feel like a little ant on this massive glacier, it's so expensive. A little bit less, a little bit more. We're just hitting that snow in the foreground a little bit. It's 
<laughs> Let's go. Before we flew out, we had a couple of moments just to sit around and take in the landscape as the sun rose over the, the mountains around us. We just had a little bit of reflection time there to, to think about what we had just achieved and just so stoked to have a good crew up there and have another successful mission. And I just can't wait to get out to other locations like that and hopefully create some awesome visuals for people to take in and, and with some luck will change people's minds and get them thinking about the environment a little bit more.